obviously you got through Johnson, which was a kind of massive banana skin for you guys in many ways. What what problems does Andre Ward present for Carl Frost now? And is it going to be one of the toughest fights technically of his career? Yeah, of course. He's, he's very fast, Andre Ward. He's, he's, he's a different type of fighter. But every time Carl Frost boxes, he boxes differently. You saw in the Abraham fight, you saw all of the fights he fights. He fights great fighters every time. Um, Ward's a tremendous fighter, but so are some of the other fighters Carl support. Uh, Frost will be ready, don't worry about that. Um, I'm not so sure about three or four months. I don't like I don't like 12 rounds every three or four months. I think we need a little bit more time than that. Um, but um, he's a tremendous warrior, Carl Frosch, and he's a tremendous boxer as well. And we don't produce too many of them in the UK. And we've got to enjoy him while he's around. I keep saying this because it's a long time before we get another one like him. I know Lennox Lewis was mentioned, and it's been a while since he stopped boxing. And, um, you know, obviously Joe Calzaghe and one or two others, but there are very few and far between. So I just hope, you know, the UK public embraces him as well, because he's a tremendous athlete. Where will this fight take place? I'm not sure. I, don't, I, I have no idea. It will probably be in the States. What do you make of Andre and how do you see that fight? This fight? It's a question to me. Yeah. I think Andre is a fantastic athlete. He's a, he's a great fighter, a good competitor. I think all better than on giving out, you know. Like can be, he's, he's a good fighter, but Olympic gold medals don't guarantee his world level start of his professional rankings, as we've seen with Morgan Harrison, and as we've seen with um, more recently James DeGale. You know, two Olympic gold medalists to have um, failed early at the hurdles. Andre Ward's obviously very good. He beat in Cal Kessler in a, in, a, in a dubious fight that was uh, very controversial in terms of the way in which the head books and the cuts were opened up early on, and he was allowed to get away with certain, certain fouls. And I'll have to be the last cast and get away with it because he was at home. Um, but taking that away, he's, he's had a couple of decent wins against top level fighters and he's obviously deserved his place in the Super 6 final by uh, beating who is beat. But that's a fight I know I can win. Um, I spoke to Ron McCracken at length about Andre Ward. And we know we know what we need to do to beat him. Now, Andre Ward's not a big puncher, just to, just to pull out one of his. Um, limitations he's, he's not a banger so anybody who can't punch against somebody who can bang and who's got a jaw like I've got they're in trouble because I can put them on the back foot regardless of what they're doing I can put pressure on them and put them on the back foot make them work and hit them, hit them hard and often so Ward's got a problem there if he feels he can just keep me off with his, his little pencil patter jab and, and hold and use his head as a third arm he's not going to get away with it especially out of uh, especially out of Oakland his hometown which um, this fight's not going to be there that's for sure so, you know, the Ward fight is going to be a massive fight. It's a fantastic sporting occasion between two of the top super middleweights in the world, not taking anything away from Ward. But it's a fight we know we can win. I'm sure Ward feels he can win the fight. Um, yes, and it, it might be late. one of fights that, you know, yeah, we can be 10 times, it might not be 10 nil to one. It's the fight first. Five, so it's on the night. It's who gets it right in the preparation, on the build-up, and then who, who, who crosses the line on the evening. I believe I can do it. And uh, I'm sure Andre Ward will tell you he can he can do it. That's what makes it such an exciting, fantastic occasion and uh, an accolade to the Super Six World Boxing Classic because that's what it's generated. It's brought these two top fighters, in myself and Andre Ward, together at the top of this. You know, it's the pinnacle of the sport to, to fight for a unified title. WBC, WBA, the Ring Magazine belt is going to be up, on, up for grabs, and there's going to be a pound for pound ranking at the end of it. And um, hopefully, this will be somewhere in Las Vegas. It's going to be on Sky TV. Hopefully, Sky Box Office. And um, you know, it's. It's going to be fantastic, and this is what sport needs, a big lift. You wouldn't go to Oakland, would you? No, definitely not. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> yeah. Well, just what, Carl, what on the final? Obviously, you hope you can beat him. Two, what do you think, if any, he's got any weaknesses? And three, what do you think of the Super 6 overall? I mean, it's been great so far. <coughs> Yeah, I definitely think I can beat Andre Ward, I've just said that. Um, any weaknesses he's got, I think one of his major weaknesses is the fact that he's not a big puncher. Um, that might not be a weakness because he can make up for that with speed and movement and boxing ability, which he's obviously got. This is why he's got a gold medal. But um, in the professional game, there's 12 rounds, and boxing and movement don't always work for 12 rounds. You've got a lot of pressure coming at you and big heavy shots, which is what I've got. So, you know, you know, my tactics aren't going to be to put him on his back foot and bully him and push him around. It's going to be to make him come. You know, we can mix it up. I can stand and fight, or I can box and move, whatever, whatever we need to do. So I'll leave the tactics down to Rob. I'll have a couple of weeks off first, and then we'll get back in the gym, and we'll work out what we're going to do to beat Ward. We'll feel we can beat him. We'll feel we'll do a number on him. And the third question was? Super Six. Super Six Boxing Classic has been fantastic. Everybody's been critical. You've had your negative people. People that didn't put it together, the TV networks that, that didn't get involved or didn't put it together. 
or the promoters or the you know Ken Hirschman needs to be needs to be applauded for what he's done yeah, because yeah. He's, yeah. he's brought together some of the top fighters in this division. Yeah. And we want to fight each Look at the fights I've had against Kessler, Durrell, Abraham, now Johnson. Look at some of the other fights. None of them fights would have happened. Lucha View is sat back and he's you know he's he's ranked number one above everybody, which is ridiculous. They've all been marquee fights, haven't they? They've all been marquee fights. He's been fantastic. And two of the fighters, myself and Ward, we was in the original six lineup, and we're going to be in the final, which which validates the whole event and the whole tournament. And um, you know, I had a premonition that it'd be me and Ward in the final. And, yeah, definitely. The only, the only, I've had every... What's your premonition about the results? I'm confident I'm going to win the fight. I know what I need to do to win the fight. Good. Actually, before the event started, you had that premonition, before the actual fight started. So well, I've actually got a glove on my wall in my on the wall of fame in my house, and I've got everybody in the Super Six signed it. Kessler, Durrell, Abraham, they've all signed the glove, and I, I left I left Ward's signature off that. Um, he's not on that for a reason, because I said I'll get that off him in the final. I'm going to see him in the final. And, uh, I've not signed it, and Ward's not signed it, so I'm going to get his signature in the final. So that's going to happen. I've been waiting on it. Right. Carl, when... Um, well, one thing that's so impressive tonight was the amount of time you spent on the back foot, which is you know, probably more than I've ever seen you do before. Uh, how would you say you, you learnt to, I mean, that, that would show you well against a potential mover like Ward, unlike someone like Durrell, who, who mess you around for a very long time. Like, how do you think you improved it still? Yeah, with boxing, it doesn't matter how many fights you have, or how good you are, how good you think you are whether everybody else thinks you are or not, you're always, always learning every single time you fight. And I've learned a hell of a lot in here tonight. Um, I've learned a lot about myself and a lot about my style against um, Arthur Abraham with the ability to box. I mean, I think I was a lot busier against Abraham, but I was a bit more cautious against um, Johnson tonight. He's a big, strong, tough man. Um, but I'm learning all the time. And I've, I've, I've just um, solidified the fact that I can box on my back foot and, and give the ward problem. I'll make him come to me, he's going to walk into my big shots. So there's, there's a problem straight away. So I take a lot of confidence from that win against Johnson. Carl, um, the only blemish on your record is a questionable fight that could have went either way with Miguel Kessler. After the Super 6 tournament is over and done with, do you feel that you need to replace that loss with a win against Kessler? Is that really important to you at all? It'd be nice to. I mean, he's had a, he's had a big win tonight, actually. Um, he stopped somebody in three rounds. So he's, he's back, back in the game and healthy, which is, which is good news for everyone. Um, he's the champion emeritus for WBC, so it's a fight that provided a comfortable award fight um, successfully. It's a fight that should happen, really. It is a fight that I want, yes, because you know, I lost the decision over in Denmark last night, and uh, it'd be very nice from, from a personal point of view to put that right. Do you feel that it was a tougher fight against Kasper than uh, seeing the fight against uh, Townsend? Yeah, I made it a tougher fight. It was my own fault. It was a tough fight. You know, and um, there was a volcano in Iceland that also made it a tough fight. And, um, private jet that was sent out to fly below the ash cloud that um, turned myself and my trainer on the crack and pale on the way in. I'm Pat Sheen, of course. So. It, it was a nasty fly, I can tell you. But, um, you know, there's, there's always a reason you lose. There's always an excuse. And there's nothing more boring than listening to someone's excuse. Um, it's a fight. If there's a rematch, there's only one winner, and that's me. And, um, you know, the fight might happen. It should happen. Carl, how, how would you rate Ward's toughness against the toughness that you showed tonight? Um, I've, I've not seen Ward really put under too much pressure, um, other than you know a, an agent, Saki Abika, and um, a, a pretty much finished. I don't know how I did some around the line tonight, but I know he struggled a few times and he's been knocked out. Half Raver, I'm knocked him out. So, you know, other than them two fights, I've not really seen Ward put under major pressure. I mean, Mikel Kessler didn't turn up tonight when he fought him. I don't care what anybody says, Mikel Kessler was. Not, he'd been inactive for a while, he got headbutted early and he was cut by both eyes and he was, he was badly hampered. So it's difficult to assess Ward's toughness based on the, um, the fights he's had throughout his career. But he's obviously a very good fighter and he deserves respect. Um, but he's nowhere near as tough as me. I'm, I'm solid, strong, granite chin warrior and I've proved it time after time. And I've climbed up the canvas to come back to win um, against top level fighters you know, consistently. So you can't, um, you can't give him a bigger accolade than what I've got. And this is why it's a bit ludicrous that you've got um, Lucian Butte ranked above everybody in the Super 6. Uh, it's almost like someone's having a laugh. Someone's, someone's sitting back having a wind up putting him at number one because uh, he's, he's fought Lebron Andrade. He beat him in that first fight. I know he, he put that right by knocking him out. And other than that, he's fought nobody else. He fought Brian McGee in his last fight. I knocked out Brian McGee with one hand, one hand meaning I broke my right hand in round two. 
that infraction, which was evident from round two. I've got to write round 11, so Duque can't really, you know, 